Last time on So Sorry Commentary. What do you expect? The guy is a super control freak and he's a narcissist. Oh fuck, there's somebody at my door. Hold on a second. R. Kelly? What are you doing here, man? Dude, no! It was just a joke, dude! It was just a fucking... It was just a prank, bro! It was just a prank! What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of So Sorry Commentary. It's great to be freed from that fucking cult and R. Kelly is, is a slave runner over there man. He's crazy. He's crazy. I'd like to welcome you all to the very first edition of a show that I'm calling Chaos on Kijiji. Kijiji is an absolutely beautiful place if you've never been. I highly recommend that you go there. The buying and selling website is a service website. If you want to sell your microwave, you want to sell your TV, you want to sell your scooter, if you're a heroin addict, you want to get rid of your children, you go ahead and do that on there too. They don't give a sh You want to sell your body, you go ahead and you sell your body on there. The shit from the 90s if you want it, it doesn't matter. It's got all kinds of crap on there for you. The whole point of chaos on Kijiji is that we find the weirdest ones and then I show you guys. So let's get right into that. So anyone who knows anything knows that the first place and the best place to go when you're on Kijiji, the other folder of the services and the other folder of the community and the other folder of the buy and sell. These are the ones that hold the gold. There's a lot of fucking people selling three ring binders on Kijiji right now. There's, there's so many of them. And it's just like, since when is the market for three ring binders just so insane? Hi there. Why is there a dog shit stain on the binder? Scent. Fuck these captchas, man. These things are stupid. Scent. In fifth grade, I had a collection of Pokemon cards that was so sick. Everyone would be like, whoa, damn, that's sick. One day I had a crazy ass Charizard, like basically mint condition. You know how it is. And it was stolen right out of the binder. Wanna know something wild about that story? It was actually me who stole the card from a different kid. <laughs> you should have seen the look on his nerd face. A 12 pack of Dr. Pepper with real sugar. It's cane sugar. I looked it up. 12 for 12 cans. Jeep for sale. I'm back soon. What do you mean by I'm back soon? Like, what kind of Jeep is it? Why is it in an ad for a 12 pack of Dr. Pepper made with regular sugar. Waiting for you to come back 
I want to buy a case of that sweet, delicious Dr. Pepper so I can cruise around in that Jeep we're offering. Ooh, I really hope he gets back to me on that one. This is the thing that you see all of the time. I lived in Chinatown for a while, and all you see is the old Chinese ladies walking around, and they got this basket specifically. Even the craziest thing about this is when you Google it, that's the same exact basket that comes up. It's the same one. Sometimes stereotypes are true. I'm showing you the worst ads that I'm finding. But this is an example of a pretty fucking good ad. Okay, so this is what you wanna be doing. Okay, you gotta put a lot of exclamations and shit in there. Even if it's dumb, the whole, the, the whole idea that someone will do your work for you, I'm already a part of this. I'm already down for what's going on here. But the fact that they got this beautiful thumbnail. Oh, a re amazing thumbnail. Look at this. Look at the guilt on the face, dude. Ah, oh, I feel bad. I feel terrible. It makes me want to give people my empties. Look at this. Oh, fantastic. What a great thumbnail. You don't even need to be selling anything or buying anything. You could be just doing this. You could blah, 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 blah. Yeah, at least... You know, they're, they're giving the money to, like, animals. But I feel like this is probably a scam. It's just a crackhead thing. They're trying to get, like, money out of this somehow. Medium dog crate. So essentially, from the outside, this looks perfectly normal. But you got to think about it this way. What the fuck happened to the dog? Like, where's the dog now? Where's your dog now? And does this fit humans? No questions. Honestly, I absolutely love the idea of someone putting no questions in an ad. I was busing home one day and I saw this ad and it says no questions asked when found. Somebody stole the amp out of his car. But what I'm wondering is, did he steal the amp from somebody and then they stole it back? Is that why he's saying no questions? Because as soon as somebody puts no questions on something, you have a hundred fucking questions. Nothing screams scam like free life coaching. Because if coaching them, what will happen eventually is that they'll probably just start scamming money out of them somehow. And then eventually, I don't know, some sort of sexual thing. Yeah, this is probably these kind of ad that R. Kelly put up. <coughs> I figured everyone else was having so much fun making ads, I would make my own ad. I mean, of course, why not? Um, so here's what I came up with. It's a mystery bag. Um, you can have all the contents of this bag, beautiful bag right here, for the low, low price of only $100. Don't worry, your boys got you with the low prices. The catch is that I don't tell you what's in the bag. That's where the mystery comes in. Could be some rare stuff in there. You don't know, like old hockey cards and rare collectibles, or it could be filled with old juice containers and literal trash. Um, the choice is yours, of course, as always. So if you'd like to purchase the contents of the bag, you're more than welcome to. I'll be leaving the ad up until the next video comes out and I'll see if anyone wants it. If anyone wants it, you guys can have it. It's all your. So this is it. This is the mystery bag. And I'll just post that shit online. Boom. Oh, we got seven visits already. Yeah, somebody better buy that fucking bag. Because you don't know what's in it. No questions. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? fuck is this? Hey there everybody, it's your boy, popular R. Kelly. Oh no. Definitely not a cult. It's about six- oh shit. Oh shit.